Today, we're embarking on a journey to explore one of the cosmos' most enthralling phenomena, the total solar eclipse. Picture this, the moon elegantly positions itself in front of the sun, enveloping our world in a temporary, awe-inspiring darkness. This celestial event is a rarity, a moment that captures the hearts and minds of all who experience it. I recall with vivid clarity the awe I felt witnessing a total solar eclipse in Oregon, a memory that still sends a thrilling chill through me. For those of us residing in Ottawa, such extraordinary events are notably rare. The last time Ottawa was graced with a total solar eclipse was in 1925, and it won't witness another for approximately 120 years. Therefore, the anticipation for the solar eclipse on April 8, 2024 is palpable, especially for lifelong residents. Uh, this event is set to be a pivotal moment, casting its enchanting shadow directly over our city when the sun is at its zenith. Adding to the allure of the 2024 eclipse is its path across significant North American Jewish communities, including Montreal, Ottawa, New York, and Chicago. This contrasts sharply with the 2017 eclipse, which missed these areas. For many in the Jewish community, myself included, this will mark the first opportunity to witness a total solar eclipse firsthand since the last visible one was only partial. Moreover, this eclipse carries deeper layers of intrigue. It occurs during Nisan, a month in the Jewish calendar rich with themes of redemption, enhancing its significance. Preceding the eclipse, an extraordinary planetary alignment Venus, Neptune, Saturn, and Mars, all converging in the Pisces constellation, adds to the celestial spectacle. While astrology does not play a role in predicting the future within Jewish tradition, the spiritual implications of such cosmic events spark curiosity and wonder. The Torah acknowledges stars as beacons for humanity, underscoring the symbolic importance of celestial bodies without leaning on astrology for divination. This upcoming total solar eclipse intertwined with significant astronomical events and rooted in rich cultural and spiritual significance invites us to ponder, explore, and marvel at the cosmos's profound impact on our lives. It's a reminder of the universe's vast mysteries, encouraging us to look up, wonder, and perhaps find a deeper connection to the world around us. In Israel, the occurrence of a solar eclipse is an event of profound rarity and significance. The most recent solar eclipse graced Israel's skies back in the year 993, with the next one not due until August 8, 2241, or the Jewish year 6001. This timing is especially poignant as it aligns with the conclusion of a Jewish calendar cycle, heralding a period of transition or renewal. Such infrequency invites contemplation on the deeper spiritual meanings these celestial events may harbor, symbolizing critical junctures in our collective journey. Solar eclipses, those mesmerizing moments when the moon perfectly aligns between the earth and the sun blocking sunlight are a testament to the marvels of our universe. Despite the moon's significantly smaller size, it appears just as large as the sun from our vantage point on earth, a phenomenon that many regard as evidence of a finely tuned cosmic design. Contrastingly, lunar eclipses occur more frequently. These happen when the earth positions itself between the sun and the moon casting a shadow over the moon. This shadow can cause the moon to appear darker or, during a total lunar eclipse, take on a reddish hue, hence the term blood moon. Notably, a total lunar eclipse is anticipated on March 14th, 2025, coinciding with Purim, a Jewish holiday, adding layers of cultural and spiritual resonance to the event. Both solar and lunar eclipses serve as awe-inspiring reminders of the universe's grandeur, prompting us to reflect on life's scientific and spiritual dimensions. They invite us to mark our calendars for these upcoming celestial showcases. The total solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024, and the following total lunar eclipse in March 2025, which aligns with Purim. These events stand as cosmic ballets choreographed by the celestial body's movements against the backdrop of a Hebrew calendar that itself is aligned with the lunar cycle. Observing a solar eclipse requires specific considerations for safety, emphasizing the importance of positioning to experience this rare cosmic show fully. These moments not only offer a visual spectacle, but also invite a deep, introspective look at the intertwining of celestial events with our cultural and spiritual lives, providing a unique opportunity to witness the dance of the cosmos.
From the vantage point of Ottawa, we are poised to witness an extraordinary celestial event, a total solar eclipse. Remember, the importance of safety cannot be overstated. Eclipse glasses are a must to protect your eyes from the sun's harmful rays during this event. As the moon obscures the sun for a brief, magical moment, we're reminded of the myriad wonders that populate our universe. This is a rare opportunity to observe one of many awe-inspiring occurrences above us, so ensure you're prepared with your eclipse glasses to safely enjoy this spectacle. In Jewish tradition, both solar and lunar eclipses are imbued with profound spiritual significance. A solar eclipse is often interpreted as a global portent of challenges, metaphorically dimming the lights during a moment of celebration to express divine discontent. Rabbi Mia views such an event as a harbinger of difficulty for those who stand against Israel, symbolizing potential trials for the Jewish community. The Talmud drawing on this analogy suggests a sense of foreboding among the Jewish people, akin to students wary of a teacher's reprimand, indicating a historical familiarity with adversity and a cautious interpretation of these celestial signs. While solar eclipses are considered omens for all nations, lunar eclipses specifically portend challenges for Israel, reflecting its lunar-solar calendar that aligns religious observances with lunar phases. Turning our gaze to the Islamic world, the lunar calendar plays a pivotal role in determining the dates of Ramadan, showcasing a unique cultural and religious reverence for lunar cycles. This calendar's reliance on the lunar cycle allows Ramadan to move through the seasons, with the crescent moon symbolizing Islam's adherence to this celestial rhythm. The discussion of eclipses extends beyond Jewish discourse, illustrating a broad spectrum of cultural interpretations of these astronomical events. Their significance is further nuanced by geographic visibility, suggesting that the spiritual resonance of an eclipse is most acutely felt by those who directly witness it. The phenomenon of the blood moon, characterized by the moon's reddish hue during a total lunar eclipse, is often seen as a precursor to conflict or unrest, echoing historical patterns of turmoil. Conversely, an eclipse lacking this distinctive coloration may hint at the threat of famine, evoking a sense of scarcity and concern. Amid various interpretations of these celestial events, a central theme emerges, the importance of spiritual introspection and alignment. Regardless of the potential challenges signified by an eclipse, it serves as a spiritual prompt for deeper reflection and an understanding of divine purpose, encouraging individuals across cultures to seek righteousness and alignment with their spiritual beliefs as a means to navigate or transcend any foretold adversities. In this narrative, we explore the profound connections between spiritual forces and our material reality, emphasizing our collective mission to manifest divine light by aligning our wills with that of the divine. By transcending the physical limitations, we imbue the world with sanctity and wisdom, stepping into our destined roles both individually and collectively. This is the essence of our existence. Drawing upon biblical allegories, Jacob is likened to the moon, reflecting a dynamic where we, at different junctures, mirror the attributes of both the sun and the moon. Within this framework, Israel is often symbolized as the sun, embodying brightness and enlightenment, while Jacob represents the moon, reflecting the sun's light in its own unique manner. This duality extends into the representations of Beor and Beov, with the former associated with the sun's masculinity and the latter with the moon's femininity. This concept is further illustrated in the naming of educational institutions, where a school for girls might be named after Jacob, highlighting the nuanced interplay of masculine and feminine energies within our spiritual and material worlds. The Torah elaborates on this by differentiating between the sons of Israel and the house of Jacob, underlining the gendered aspects of these symbols. It posits that within the spiritual context of Jewish tradition, a man's spouse is metaphorically his home, emphasizing the feminine as the foundational structure of the household. In this analogy, the moon represents the feminine aspect, while the sun symbolizes the masculine, each carrying distinct but complementary significance in our lives. As we delve into the discussion of solar eclipses, these celestial events further symbolize the intricate balance and interplay between these divine forces, 
inviting us to reflect on their meaning within, uh, within our own lives and the broader universe. This narrative invites us to ponder the spiritual dimensions of our existence, urging us to seek alignment with the divine as we navigate the complexities of our world. The discussion surrounding the reasons God might send solar eclipses as interpreted through religious texts touches upon deep and complex themes of morality, justice, and divine signals. It's mentioned that such celestial phenomena could be divinely ordained in response to specific societal failures to uphold justice and humanity. For example, the lack of communal mourning for the unjustly deceased or the absence of intervention during acts of violence are cited as reasons that might provoke a solar eclipse viewed as a portent of divine displeasure. The mention of the Sanhedrin, the ancient judicial body, introduces a framework of legal and moral authority emphasizing the importance of leadership and communal responsibility in addressing injustices. This narrative highlights the critical role of societal and judicial structures in enforcing moral conduct and the potential cosmic repercussions when they fail. Rashi, a medieval Jewish commentator known for his profound insights into the Torah and Talmud, admits uncertainty in some interpretations, illustrating the complexities inherent in translating and understanding ancient texts. This honesty about the limits of interpretation underscores the nuanced and multifaceted nature of biblical exegesis. The examples given, such as the unavenged assault of a young girl or the unacknowledged death of innocent individuals, serve as illustrations of moral failings that, according to these interpretations, could lead to divine signs of displeasure, such as solar eclipses. These narratives are not just historical or religious recountings, but serve as moral lessons on the importance of community, justice, and the protection of the vulnerable. Furthermore, the discussion of terms like sodomy within the biblical narrative emphasizes the need for careful consideration of context, culture, and historical language. The sins of Sodom, often cited in discussions of morality, are interpreted in various ways, but commonly include acts of violence, inhospitality, and the mistreatment of strangers pointing to a broader condemnation of social injustice and cruelty. This exploration into the reasons behind solar eclipses, according to religious interpretation, offers a lens into how celestial events have been historically intertwined with human morality, serving as reminders of the divine covenant and the ethical obligations within human communities. Such interpretations encourage a reflection on our societal responsibilities and the potential spiritual and cosmic resonance of our actions. In many religious narratives, including those found in the Bible, eclipses are depicted as powerful symbols of divine displeasure or warnings of imminent judgment upon humanity for its sins. This portrayal extends well beyond their physical manifestation, highlighting their role as cosmic cues, urging a reevaluation of ethical commitments and personal accountability. While modern science enables the precise prediction of eclipses, uh, their significance in these stories transcends mere astronomical events, serving as poignant reminders of our spiritual and moral duties. The Antikythera mechanism, an ancient Greek artifact recovered from the sea near Greece, stands as a testament to humanity's long-standing endeavor to comprehend and foresee celestial occurrences, including eclipses. Dating back to around 100 BCE, this intricate mechanical device showcases the advanced astronomical knowledge of the ancient Greeks and their deep fascination with the heavens. Through an elaborate assembly of gears, the Antikythera mechanism was capable of tracking various astronomical cycles, embodying the Greeks' sophisticated grasp of the cosmos. Moreover, the number 30 is imbued with symbolic importance across numerous religious and cultural traditions. In Hebrew numerology, for example, it signifies power, elevation, and spiritual ascent. This association between the number 30 and celestial events like eclipses further enriches the deep spiritual and cosmic connotations these phenomena carry within various belief systems. The interpretation of eclipses varies widely, with some viewing them as natural occurrences governed by scientific principles and cosmic cycles, while others see them as manifestations of divine intervention or messages from a higher power. 
Regardless of one's perspective, eclipses have consistently sparked human curiosity and prompted introspection on our place within the cosmos, our ethical obligations, and the intricate web of the universe. Delving into subjects such as solar eclipses, ancient predictive mechanisms like the Antikythera device, and the complex interplay between science, spirituality, and symbolism provides valuable insights into the rich mosaic of human thought, belief, and exploration across different cultures and ages. Through an interdisciplinary approach and open discourse, we can deepen our understanding of these phenomena, bridging the gap between empirical knowledge and spiritual interpretation, and reflecting on the enduring fascination they hold for humanity. Exploring celestial phenomena like eclipses allows us to enrich our comprehension and embrace the myriad ways these events influence human experience and our perception of the world. The notion of divine orchestration lends an additional layer of awe and wonder to astronomical events such as eclipses. The precision and rarity of total eclipses highlight the universe's meticulous order, reminding us of the complex design underlying natural occurrences. It's especially fascinating to ponder the impact of eclipses in populated areas, where their symbolic significance in traditions such as the Jewish faith when observed by communities becomes even more profound. The deliberation over whether to offer a blessing for someone witnessing an eclipse opens a window into reflections on the essence of blessings and the importance of gratitude in recognizing both the joys and adversities of life. While eclipses may appear ominous to some, figures like Isaac Newton saw them as elements of a divine schema aimed at fostering our spiritual advancement and well-being. Thus, extending a blessing to those who witness these celestial spectacles could be interpreted as an act of thankfulness and acknowledgement of divine care. Beyond their visual grandeur, eclipses are imbued with deep spiritual symbolism, reminding us of the persistent glow of light, even in periods of darkness. They prompt musings on life's cyclic nature and the ultimate victory of knowledge over ignorance. Observing an eclipse might, therefore, stir spiritual wonder and respect, encouraging people to express their gratitude through blessings. In the biblical context, although references to celestial events like eclipses are sparse, they do exist. The book of Joel, attributed to one of the minor prophets, contains verses hinting at cosmic occurrences, including eclipses, as manifestations of divine will and judgment. Such mentions underscore the deep connection between the natural and spiritual worlds, accentuating the role of celestial events in molding human comprehension and experience. In sum, viewing eclipses through various lenses, be it scientific, theological, or cultural, enhances our appreciation of these celestial wonders as more than just astronomical occurrences. They invite us to reflect on the universe's enigmas, the operations of divine will, and the persistent radiance of light amidst obscurity, fostering feelings of gratitude, reverence, and spiritual contemplation. Joel, despite the brevity of his contributions compared to other prophets, offered messages of significant weight. His insights, alongside those of his contemporaries, were compiled into what is known as the Scroll of the Twelve Prophets, underscoring the enduring relevance and importance of his and their prophetic teachings. This anthology, including tales of well-known prophets like Jonah, introduces us to various pivotal figures, among them Joel, whose narrative might not be as renowned but is nonetheless captivating due to its unique focus. Joel's discourse, notably featuring the phenomena of solar and lunar eclipses not once but twice in his concise writings, adds a layer of intrigue to his prophetic messages. Despite the significance of his words, uh, details about Joel's personal history remain largely enigmatic. His origins and life story are shrouded in mystery, yet some believe they have located his resting place in what is now known as Givat Yonah in northern Israel, historically referred to as Gaba during the Roman era a site of historical and spiritual significance. Adjacent to what is presumed to be Joel's tomb, a document or inscription might shed further light on his life's impact and the reasons behind his enduring importance. Interestingly, the Bible mentions another Joel, the son of Samuel, who, alongside his brother, was appointed to leadership roles in Israel. However, their tenure was marked by corruption and unfair practices. 
a deviation from the expected conduct that precipitated a monumental shift in Israelite governance, the transition from judges to a monarchical system. This shift wasn't solely divine decree. It was significantly influenced by the people's desire for a ruler who adhered to just and equitable principles, mirroring the governance systems of neighboring nations. This transition underscores a pivotal moment in biblical history, highlighting the populace's active role in selecting their sovereign, thereby ensuring that their ruler, like David, was not only chosen by God, but also by the people for his adherence to justice and the law. Yet, this narrative also reminds us of the complexities of leadership and the inherent human propensity to falter. Amidst these reflections, an intriguing theory posits that the prophet Joel might indeed be the same Joel mentioned as Samuel's son. According to this perspective, Joel dramatically transformed his life, shedding his previous misdeeds to emerge as a figure of righteousness and spiritual depth. His prophecies, then, are not just forewarnings or divine messages, but are also symbolic of personal redemption and the potential for societal renewal. They hint at significant historical upheavals, such as the destruction of the first temple and the subsequent Babylonian exile, while also fostering hope for restoration and renewal. This narrative arc, from flawed leader to visionary prophet, encapsulates a broader theme of redemption and transformation, suggesting that past missteps can lead to profound spiritual awakenings and impactful societal change. Joel's journey from judgment to prophecy exemplifies the enduring belief in the possibility of redemption and the influential role of prophetic voices in guiding the collective conscience toward a hopeful future. This interpretation reveals the potential for individuals to experience deep personal transformations and find redemption, highlighting the intertwined nature of history, divine action, and human conduct. When we explore biblical narratives, themes of destruction, upheaval, and societal change are prevalent, striking chords that resonate with the complexities of contemporary life. The Bible is replete with imagery of devastation, ravaged farms, and barren vineyards that symbolize not only material loss, but also a profound emotional and spiritual desolation. These depictions serve as poignant reminders of how large-scale disturbances be it from war, environmental catastrophes, or economic downturns, can deeply affect human communities. The mention of specific crops, such as apples, which are often symbols of prosperity and fertility, underscores the severe disruption to livelihoods and the erosion of traditional lifestyles, mirroring the challenges faced by many today. The biblical call to mourn and lament these disasters emphasizes the deep bond between people and their environment reflecting a communal grieving process in the face of shared suffering. In a world still grappling with conflict, environmental damage, and social inequities, these ancient stories offer insight into the human condition, urging us towards justice and redemption. The biblical portrayal of divine judgment as a precursor to the end times serves as a stark reminder of potential future catastrophes, urging societies to foster resilience and preparedness. These age-old narratives provide timeless commentary on human resilience, hope in the face of despair, and the quest for a just and equitable world, proving the ongoing relevance of biblical wisdom in confronting contemporary challenges and encouraging empathy and unity during crises. Turning to the term gav and its significance, the commandment traditionally understood as do not steal, originally conveyed in Hebrew as lo tignov, has a broader interpretation specifically a prohibition against kidnapping. This nuanced understanding is significant, possibly alluding to historical events like the Babylonian invasion and the subsequent destruction of the first temple. The prophets, while reflecting on their, their current realities, also provided warnings about impending calamities and divine judgment. This aspect of biblical teaching, which encourages vigilance and moral integrity in anticipation of divine assessment, remains profoundly relevant. It underscores the importance of understanding the deeper meanings behind biblical injunctions and their implications for both individual behavior and collective societal actions. In this light, biblical narratives not only recount historical events, but also offer guidance for navigating the moral complexities of our times, advocating for a deeper comprehension of justice, compassion, and human dignity.
the narrative that speaks to the Israeli Defense Forces IDF drawing strength and guidance from divine will captures a profound spiritual conviction. It embodies the belief that in the face of challenges, particularly with the anticipation of God's judgment day, an unwavering faith in divine guidance will ensure strength and success for the nation. This message, emphasizing the importance of a sincere return to spiritual practices, fasting, prayer, and genuine remorse over past transgressions, over mere outward displays of grief, seeks to deepen the spiritual connection and openness of hearts towards God. The call to justice, coupled with a reminder of God's enduring attributes of fairness, patience, and kindness, serves as a foundational pillar for this spiritual awakening. It encourages the observance of holy days with genuine devotion, even amidst the busyness of life, suggesting that such times are not just moments for reflection, but also opportunities for communal purification and preparation for future challenges. Intriguingly, the mention of signs, such as the appearance of a comet, is seen as a divine beckoning for unity and spiritual readiness, emphasizing that this call to turn towards God transcends age, marital status, or past deeds. It is a universal summons for personal transformation and the seeking of forgiveness, with a poignant acknowledgement of the collective desire for a miracle in times of distress. This narrative stresses the importance of maintaining faith in God's presence and power, rejecting any seeds of doubt that may arise in challenging times. The promise of divine benevolence, including the restoration of lost prosperity and respect among nations, serves as a beacon of hope. The recent abundance of rain interpreted as a fulfillment of divine promise reinforces the belief in God's faithfulness and his active role in the lives of his people. Ultimately, this message, grounded in the teachings of the book of Joel, reiterates God's commitment to bless and rejuvenate his people, urging a communal and individual resurgence of faith and spiritual commitment. It highlights the timeless relevance of biblical teachings, encouraging a reflective and transformative approach to contemporary challenges, and reinforcing the conviction that divine presence and guidance are ever-present, guiding through adversity towards renewal and restoration. The biblical prophecy from Joel emphasizing the outpouring of God's Spirit upon all people transcends age, gender, and social status. This vision, where sons and daughters alike will prophesy and have visions, signals a universal return to spiritual gifts, democratizing the experience of divine inspiration across all walks of life. Joel's prophecies, coupled with signs in the heavens, evoke a vivid picture of divine intervention and guidance, like mirroring present and future realities and connecting historical prophecies with contemporary events. The Bible's depiction of celestial phenomena, such as the sun darkening and the moon turning red, preceding significant events, resonates deeply today. It mentions specific dates of upcoming eclipses, aligning with the Jewish holiday of Purim and other notable dates, framing these occurrences as a series of prophetic signs. Joel chapter 4 delves into the prophecy of a final conflict and divine judgment against invading nations, offering insights into the broader narrative of divine justice and retribution. The role of the minor prophets, including Joel in the biblical canon, highlights the depth and significance of their messages, despite their brief accounts. Their contributions provide crucial insights into divine prophecy and the cosmic order. The Book of Psalms amplifies this theme, portraying the universe in a state of worship, with every element of creation, from celestial bodies to natural landscapes, praising God. In this cosmic narrative, both the sun and the moon serve as profound symbols. The sun, especially during a solar eclipse, signals impending changes and significant future events, acting as a celestial beacon of divine intentions. Conversely, the moon's phases play a critical role in timekeeping, marking seasons and festivals within the lunar calendar, reflecting a divine order in the heavens. The suggestion that solar movements may reveal eschatological events adds a layer of intrigue to our understanding of the cosmos, positioning solar eclipses as pivotal celestial markers within God's grand design. These events are not merely astronomical, but are interwoven with divine prophecy, offering glimpses into God's plan for history, redemption, and the culmination of the ages. As we witness a convergence of astronomical phenomena, 
from solar eclipses to blood moons, aligned with biblical prophecies, we're reminded of the enduring relevance of the minor prophets' messages. They call for discernment and wisdom, guiding us through the complexities of history and the mysteries of the universe. Joel's message, in particular, speaks to the power of collective consciousness and faith in catalyzing positive change, urging a unified approach to embracing divine promises. As we navigate these significant times, let us remain connected, engaged, and committed to fostering a community of faith and understanding, guided by the timeless wisdom of the prophets and the celestial signs that punctuate our journey through history.